So, <clears throat> what's going on, everybody? Today we ask a weird question. Okay, so recently I was doing a video about this dude named Nold, and it was in reference to Angela Merkel's office was hanging two pictures of uh, paintings from the, the German modernist, the expressionist uh, Nold, and Theresa May came in and said, Hey, guess what, Merkel? Those paintings you have are problematic. Homeboy was a Nazi. Even though the paintings were done before he was a Nazi, like decades before. But that didn't matter because he was a Nazi in the 20s. The paintings had to come down. Now, I thought to myself, huh, what an interesting question. <clears throat> if uh, you do things later on in life, after you've created something, does the thing that you created lose part of its... Uh, cost? Not really cost. It, it's a... Uh, does it, does it, does it, is it lowered in esteem? Is, is it no longer uh, an important piece because of someone's activities after that piece was done? Now, assuming, of course, that the piece isn't propaganda for <laughs> that vile um, political ideology. You know, uh, if, if it was a bunch of swastikas and, and stormtroopers, then yeah, that would suck. Get rid of that piece. But what if it was before? What if it had nothing to do with Nazis? What if it was just a landscape? A beautiful landscape that everyone loved before they became a Nazi. Or anything, really. Any, any kind of monster. Uh, to, to that point, let's talk about old Adolf here. Have you ever seen some of his paintings? There. Here's one. Check it out. Pretty intense. It's a, it's a building. It's pretty odd. I, I think it's good. It was made in, what does it say here? A long time ago, but this this was in um, this was made from 1908 to 1913 before Hitler went into uh, the army for World War One to fight on the German side. He was an artist in Vienna, and this is some of the stuff he he uh, he painted. He made his living, by the way, by selling postcards of drawings of his in Vienna when he got wouldn't didn't get accepted into art school. Here's another one. This is a uh, Hitler Mary with Jesus. Hitler Mary. Yikes. <laughs> Now, mind you, this is before Hitler became a Nazi. There was no Nazis in 1908 to 1913 in Vienna. There were none. There was anti-Semitic people, but Hitler hung out with Jews uh, in his time uh, before World War I. In fact, they say he was even part Jewish. So the idea of him being anti-Semitic now made the seeds were planted, but uh, you know, I'm not quite sure if this is... I mean, then again... It is a blonde haired blue eyed Jesus, so maybe they were. <laughs> you can see the seeds of his anti Semitism. But I mean, that, that wouldn't be uncommon for artists of that time period to make a European white Jesus. I love European Jesus. <laughs> He's not the real Jesus. I just like him anyway. He's so handsome. Oh, check this one out, man. This is actually a pretty dang good tree. I mean, there's not much to it. It's not unique, but it shows promise. It shows, I, I don't know. I dig it. Again, made way before he was a Nazi. Let's take a look at another one. Oh, yeah, see? Look at this. I mean, there's no shadows under the people. But not all of them. There's some of them. Underneath that, there's no ambient uh, occlusion zone. Underneath that, horse-drawn buggy. <laughs> but the perspective is really good. It's, you can see it, it. I think it's a really decent painting. It's in watercolor. Uh, he, he's obviously got a penchant for architecture. Uh, you know, his his nightmare idea for the new Berlin you should, uh, and his Nazi Nazi-opolis <laughs> was uh, well. It, it kind of looked like this. You could see his. Uh, he, he was an He was decently gifted in architecture, which is what his. Uh, the people at the art, uh, the Vienna Art Institute, who denied his art school application, said, uh, you, "You're not gifted in art, but you might want to try the architecture school." And Hitler's like, "Nine!" And then he became the world's biggest monster. You can even see his uh, his signature down here, Adolf Hitler. Hmm. Creepy. But at the same time, this was done decades before he became a Nazi. He wasn't a Nazi until the 20s when he, uh, you know, formulated, when he joined the German Workers' Party. But he didn't join them 
when he first in, when he first met them, when he first met them, he was working for the German uh, government as a spy to, for these all these extremist groups. Well, he waltzed into the German Workers' Party, listened to what they had to say, liked it, decided he was going to take over the world and kill all the Jews. But that was more than a decade later. Definitely gives you pause to think. What do you think? Does all of Hitler's art made before he was a Nazi, before the Nazis were even a thing, with no ideology, anti-Semitic or racist ideology, uh, is that art worthless now? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm kind, I'm kind of curious about seeing it. You watched this video. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Scrolling, scrolling up, pointing at Adolf. So.